a preacher went to town, was having services. It was great. It was going on well. People were coming. People were getting born again in the meetings. And then met this young boy in the, in the, in the town who's not been coming for the meetings. Why have you not been coming? Oh, no, no. I'm not, I'm not coming. I don't need God. The child said, I don't need God. It's a very interesting, interesting story. I don't need God. He said, why not? No, 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 no. And then the, after the preacher pushed the boy for a little while, the boy said, okay, now let me tell you. The best man in this town doesn't come to church. The best man in this town doesn't serve God. The wisest man, in the, the best means the wisest, the strongest, the noble, the respected man in this town of ours, ours, does not go to church so why should, and doesn't serve God. So why should I? That means God is not important. Because if it's important, this man would have. And who, is, who, is, who was this man? His father. His father was a strong man in the town and doesn't do God, doesn't do church service, doesn't do anything with, with, with God. Well respected. And the boy, if that was important, my dad would be in it. When the preacher heard that, he headed straight to the man's office and said, Sir, do you know you're the reason why your boy doesn't serve God? So why me? What have I done? I told him the story. He said, preacher, I tell you, your next service, I'll be the first on, in line. Amen. And I'll be the first to accept Christ. Amen. He was really an honorable man. The next service, after the preacher finished, he was the first to step in. Say, I need Jesus. And guess who followed? The son. He followed. Because dad is so great in this time. Whatever he does is awesome. See, so if we come, we send a strong message that it is important. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen.